This is a demo of how to set up the MIDI control change toggle on an Arturia BeatStep Pro. In order to make these changes you'll need to download and install the MIDI Control Center program and then uh, connect the Arturia to a host computer running that program. What we're going to do is modify this group of switches to perform the MIDI control change toggle function. If uh, you're making these changes to an existing program or project, make sure that you download it from the unit into the MIDI Control Center program. Uh, if you're starting new though, you can just uh, set up your, your toggles and then upload them to a particular project on the unit. Uploading the new project modifies all the current settings in the device, so if you're updating or editing a program, make sure you've downloaded a copy of the existing settings before starting. Okay, this shows the MIDI Control Center screen for this that's connected to the BeatStep Pro. Make sure that this uh, is showing that's connected to a device. And then in order to download the project from the unit, we're using Project 10 on the, on the machine for this uh, demonstration. So we're going to scroll down here to Project 10 and then hit the Recall button. This will take a few seconds to do this. Okay, and once that's finished, the uh, project has been recalled for Project 10. So any settings that were that existed in there previously should now be in, have been loaded into the MIDI Control Center. We're going to start with uh, the the first button, the first uh, pad here. So just click on the pad. It'll show you the pad number here, and then change the settings here to set up the MIDI toggle function first thing you want to do is change the mode. Change that to CC for control, cha control change. And then the play mode, you want to change this to toggle. And then uh, set it to a MIDI channel. Set this to channel 1. And it's currently connected to the control change function 44. You can change this to whatever you want, but we'll leave it at, on 44. And we're going to send the output to both the USB and the MIDI uh, DIN connector. Now these are the values that will be sent. When it's in the off state, it'll send the value 1, and when it's in the on state, it'll send the value 127. Once these changes are made, you can save them back to the machine by just clicking on, make sure you have it set to Project 10, and then Store to, and that will send it back to the, to the BeatStep Pro. Once this is completed here, we'll, should, we should be able to check those changes. Now looking at the BeatStep Pro, we can test to make sure that our changes have been made. Um, they were made Project 10. We're set on Project 2 right now. I'll show you the behavior right now of this control, which is now sending out a MIDI note, some value, for Project 2. We'll just change this to Project 10, which was the one we uploaded and now you'll see that it's actually exhibiting a toggle function which is what we told it to do. Now we'll use MIDIOX to go to uh, examine the output of the of the uh, DIN MIDI connector here to make sure that it's sending out the correct information. Okay what you see here is the output of the BeatStep Pro shown in MIDIOX. We left the control in the 
toggle on position. So if I toggle it off, we'll get a control change command, and you'll notice the value, the um, value is a zero one, which was what we told it to send for the toggle off, and the command is being sent to CC. Uh, 44 which is 2C in hex. Now if I hit it again, let's toggle on. There's the one, the MIDI 127 value and toggle off the MIDI 01 value and toggle on gives us MIDI 7F. And again being sent to 2C hex or uh, control change 44.